When I started oil painting in 2021, I was wondering whether or not I can use student grade oil paint. So in this video, I want to tell you about my experience using student grade oil paint. I want to tell you about what to be careful of when buying your oil paint for the first time. And at the end of this video, I will give you a tip to upgrade your student grade oil paint. So when I started oil painting, I had two oil paint sets that I previously bought but never used. One is from Winsor & Newton and it's called Winton. The other one is from Royal Talents and it's called Vengo. Both are student grade oil paint. I used them for around a year before moving on to artist grade when I felt that I knew a little more what I was doing. So I used student grade for a year. I produced a lot of painting with them and I did a lot of experimentation. You can have a look uh, at the previous video I did about my first three months uh, with oil painting. All the paintings I showcase in that video are made with student grade oil paint. I was pleasantly surprised, besides the low tinting strength, both sets delivered beautiful paint, very enjoyable to work with. There are three paintings that I liked and framed uh, of that first year, and even though they are not that old yet, they still, they still look like the first day. So probably student grade is less archival than artist and premium grade, but this proves that by choosing the right brands, the student grade oil paint still reaches a certain quality that is enough for students to do their first steps in oil painting. Now, there are three grades of oil paint, student, artist and premium. Both artist and premium are professional oil paints. But what is inside a tube of oil paint? To keep it simple, the main ingredient is naturally the pigment. The pigment is what is expensive. The pigment is ground in a binder, that is the oil. The most common is linseed oil, but we can also find safflower or walnut oil, for instance. Some pigments we will require some sort of additives or stabilizer. So that's something we can also find in an artist and premium grade. What we usually don't find in artist and premium grade is fillers. Fillers are here to extend the pigment. That is the ingredient that we will find in a student grade that we usually don't find in other grades. Or if we find it, we will find it but in a small ratio, pigment oil to filler. In reality, it's probably more complex than that, but that gives us a general idea of what's inside a, a tube of oil paint. In the student grade, they put as much filler as possible to make it cheaper to produce. This is why it's important to stick with the brands that know what they are doing. Any brand you will find in an art supply store will do. Stay away from cheap oil paint uh, made from unknown brands. Also, stay away from any oil paint tube that does not provide a clear label detailing what exact pigment is used inside the tube. Once that said, student grade is great to start oil painting. It's good to keep in mind that the tinting strength will be lower than other grades. It's also good to know that besides the earth color, student grade will not often use the real pigment. They indeed instead use a combination of pigment to mimic the expensive pigment. So instead of using cobalt blue, they will use uh, two or three cheaper pigments to try to match cobalt's hue. Then the tube will have the mentioned cobalt blue hue. Hue indicates us that the real cobalt pigment has not been used. The result is again less tinting strength, not the exact hue even if it's close, not the same mixing capacity, not the same light fastness or how the pigment will resist time before fading. So less permanent and less covering power. So despite all this, I still really enjoyed using student grade oil paint for my first year with oil painting. I made a lot of mistakes when mixing colors. I wasted a lot of paint, even if I tried hard not to. And that's normal at the beginning. I was not sure if oil paint would be my thing or not, so keeping the expenses low was a good thing for me. I quickly realized that I indeed love oil paint and that I want to keep going. Then it was a great feeling, almost a reward to move on step by step to the artist grade. I replaced my colors one by one. 
He also gave me the chance to see which colors I used the most. That way, when I started to buy more expensive paint, I didn't buy tubes that I never used like I did with the student grade. So overall, it was a great experience and I recommend it to anyone that is about to start oil painting. I will just say, stay away from cheap unknown brands randomly found online. Stay away from any tubes uh, not mentioning the pigment and at least the light fastness on their label and go to an art supply store when buying your paint for the first time. There are many companies that offer a student grade next to their artist or premium grade among the two I talked about in this video. I could mention Sennelier with Rive Gauche, Daler Rune with Georgian and maybe a little more expensive but I discovered an interesting fact yesterday while preparing this video. I noticed that Gamblin with their student grade 9080 mixes actually a little bit of the real pigment in their cadmium colors for example. They put along with this pigment another pigment probably to limit the quantity of expensive pigment so it's still not a single pigment tube but it seems a good idea to me. They do that in my opinion to try to reach a great quality paint even in a student grade range which might explain why they are a little bit more expensive among the student grade but still cheaper than the artist grade. This shows me that this company we find in most art supply stores while still trying to cut the production cost down they are trying to produce a good quality product for their customer. Some of them are real passionate people about paint and colors. They want to deliver a great product so that their brand can be associated with great artists. They know eventually we will move on to the artist grade. They want to hook us from the start with a good product. I think that's good for everyone. Thank you for sticking with me until now. I hope I was clear and not too long. Now let me give you a tip to upgrade the student grade paint. I recommend purchasing uh, with the student grade sets or tubes that you choose a tube of white oil paint a big one, 150 or 200 milliliter from the artist grade. White is indeed the tube that you will use the most. It will be in almost all your mixes. So putting a little more money on the white, I think it's a good idea. It will give you an idea as well on what to expect from the artist grade. And by mixing it with your student grade, you will make it a little better.